it is it it's it's all yeah it's all quite ridiculous speaking of ridiculous by the way do you have like a list of people that are potential people that george um might have killed off that he's regretting because some people are giving some good ideas here i saw someone say jojen which okay yeah that's true but it's um it's it's reversible like we never see jojen die on screen so it, it's funny the uh the woman who wrote outlander and I'm forgetting her name, but she actually talked with George about how she's never had like writer's block, or at least she's never painted herself into a corner. Like her name's uh, Diana uh, Gabaldon. So is it, Diana oh, Gabaldon. Is it, is it Gabaldon? Oh, I, I think last time I said Gabagool or something like that. I'm, I'm so sorry to Diana uh, Gab, Gab, Gabaldon. You know, George asked her, like, have you ever painted yourself in a corner? And she's like, no, I haven't. Um, and then she quite, after she tells the story about George, she then says, yeah, no, I've never, like, if you paint yourself into a corner, what you do is you repaint, you, you, you repaint the room, you, you paint the corner you're in and you walk yourself out. Like, that's it. Um, which metaphorically doesn't make any sense. Like, that's not how you can, if you paint yourself into a corner, the only thing you can do is sit there and wait, right? Uh, (laughs) until the paint dries. But the, um. (laughs) But she's, you know, like, you can't paint yourself out of the corner. You'd be walking through wet paint. But nonetheless, she's she's right, though, in a sense that, like, you paint yourself in a corner, you, you start over, you know. And that's what George would have done if he killed somebody in wins. He would just go back and, and redo it. Like, so Jojen's death is ambiguous, which is why you can't, can't really undo Jojen's death. I mean, even Kevin... Like, I mean, he, he like opened the Winds of Winter and Kevin's like, it's only a flesh wound. I'm fine. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> or you open the or Winds John, of Winter, Kevin's John. there, and it's a, uh, the, a, a Pate the Pig Boy situation in the Old Town. Mm. Oh, that would be pretty, that would be pretty striking. Nah, dude, it? that, I, that was striking. so creepy. And, and what was it? It was the epilogue to Feast, right? Where, uh, the, the yeah, yeah. Le- oh, yeah. This... Last chapter. Tech- yeah. Sam five. Yeah. So creepy. I love Last it though. It's, Kevin, you're okay. We heard. No, nah, it's fine. I'm, I'm good guys. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. My, my first read, I was just, I was very confused because I didn't, I did not, my first read of Feast, I didn't realize that the alchemist was a faceless man. It's, it's not until like you finish the book and you're like, wait a minute <laughs> like you just kind of because you're reading and you just kind of go oh this this creepy thing happened with an alchemist and then and then you kind of move on and you have to, the only way is that like you have to look you have to actually like look at the physical description of the alchemist and then go back to the physical description of Jockin at the end of at the end of in the middle of clash and like what what normal person does that at the time you know when they're reading a book and they're not they're not psychotic about it so no you're right there's actually yeah. there's actually you could you could totally mental gymnastics that kevin reappearing in winds of winter by it being uh the iron bank of bravos is pissed that cersei is was adamant about not paying them back wasn't that a whole thing in feast that she yeah. didn't so they could hire faces but also like how imagine how pissed varius would be too like he's like <laughs> i killed these people and they're what i killed you yesterday what and the brother's like sorry dude i don't i don't As know kevin and grand like, 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 <laughs> just show up to a small council meeting varus is like watching what how i i what? swear <laughs> he's like in the walls like like what <laughs> um okay these are potential people that that George could be talking about. Okay. Essentially, I'm going like people, big people that died in Feast and Dance. Mm. Okay. So, <sighs> Pate the Acolyte. Could it be him? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, Nimble Dick. No. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Peg, Timian, and Shagwell. Aren't they on their way There's to uh, Old Town? A lot of people. No, they're all dead. The, 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 the brave, there's more brave companions. Oh, those, right. Those brave companions died. Okay. Some people did say in the comments, oh, it's Shagwell. He's such a great character. How could you close anything out without Shagwell? It's true. But the thing is, with any of, realistically, when you kill a, a brave companion, there's more brave companions. All right. So, <laughs> they're, like a, they're like the Hydra. It's just more keep popping up. When you kill one. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ares Oakhart. Okay. There's not much that he, like, I don't know. I mean, he, there. I, I'm not saying there isn't some knowledge that he would have 
about say like uh Marcella and the sh- and the trip over and things like that and and secrets that Cersei might have like told him or, t- or Tyrion might have told him it's not like you couldn't have something in his head like that but I couldn't see Aerys Oakard being that big of a big of a deal um you're gonna get very upset when I Marilla, say this but have you considered uh, yeah. Quentin Martell we talked about Quentin last time did we talk about Quentin it, last it, time it, we did and and oh that's right um so Quentin I would think I, I so I I truly do think that killing Quentin would cause a lot of problems because you have you have these dragons you have two dragons and you need to split the dragons up like I think you need to split the dragons up for the story to to work because um, if you're gonna have a dance of the dragons you can't have one side with two dragons and the other side with one unless like cert, like Daenerys is facing two dragons and that's like her uphill battle. But nonetheless, you need like <clears throat> you need people to capture dragons to deliver them to Aegon to have a second dance with the dragons. So, what characters are available to capture dragons and bring them to Aegon? Well, there's Victarion. You you'd have to establish why Victarion would be handing over dragons to Aegon, which is kind of out of left field. Um, you've got Marwyn. Uh Again, like, why would the dude be doing that? But maybe, maybe he somehow figures out how to capture a dragon. Um, you get, you have Tyrion, but you've kind of already set up that Tyrion's going to be Daenerys's advisor, right? Um, and then he's going to stick with her, and you know he so he already split from Aegon, and so then you've got the Dornishman, and it's like yes, maybe Drink and Arch can capture dragons without Quentin and somehow deliver them to to Aegon but it gets harder and harder like when you start talking about these things when you have Quentin who actually has knowledge about dragons who read all of the books you know he's a person that can do that so I do think that killing Quentin eliminates an ability to get dragons to Aegon and so yeah if you killed Quentin you'd want to you'd want to reverse it now that said it's so easy to reverse it because George left so many outs in a dance with dragons with Quentin. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. he cut off, like he, he had a body that was unrecognizable. He cut off like what happened in, in the pit twice in, in the pyramid twice, like in the Quentin chapter, he ends it. And then Orch starts talking about it and then they skip over it. So like maybe Quentin's dead, but it's very reversible. Like mm-hmm. I believe Jojen is dead, but at the same time, if somebody was like, it's really essential that we need Jojen alive. I'd be like, well, oh, that's an easy fix. Cause you know, Jojen, Jojen wasn't killed on screen. Like we just reverse it. That's pretty easy. Like it's a very, it's an easily reversible death. Easily reversible. Someone was saying John um, in your comments, John Snow, which I mean, we all know he's kind of coming back. That's pretty much been all but yeah, confirmed. Yeah, resurrect him, resurrect him, uh, supernaturally, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, like like the show did. That's not much of a. That's not a corner that you're painted into. Um. You know, you you have a, you have a specific paint by number. Even if George, even if George hadn't thought of that, which how did he not? Considering he's Jesus and all, like, <laughs> but like you have a paint by numbers like explanation of how you would do it, like in in the show anyway. Like, oh yeah, Melisandre. You know, you you have a character like like Beric Dondarrion who was brought back by Thoros of Mir, um, and you have Melisandre like right there. So it's it's pretty easy to get out of that corner so mm. not a difficult one um marillion again we never saw marillion die marillion really marillion back yeah we never saw marillion die so uh and it's a little weird and suspicious but uh that whole situation but very reversible so that's not a corner to be painted into uh baylor black tide um Again, not killed on screen. You could reverse that pretty easily if you wanted. Uh, Talbert Sari, uh, he's definitely dead. I just can't see why you'd want to bring back Sari. Bellman Birch, he's definitely dead. Felice Stokeworth, that's reversible. We never saw her die. Darian, I just couldn't see how he's that important. I, I, I actually like Darian. I think he's a cool character. I think it's sad that he's he's dead. Um, that's the night's watch guy right why would 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why, would, why would you need to bring him back? Why would you need him? So this yeah. is one that everybody talks about a bit. Uh, as Ma- Maester Eamon. Yes. That Maester Eamon... Maester Eamon is is one who he has so much history and knowledge and he'd be a really great character to have. It's too bad he was killed off. Um, but didn't Maester Eamon and, run you know, his I, course, though? Like, he's done everything he could. He gave some encouraging words to John. He was a big part of Sam's life. Right. Like, y- y- you're yeah. kind of done with the character. What more could you do with him? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, except be storyteller. That's it. Mm-hmm. And, but the thing is, there's other sources for his stories. You know, there's Maester Marwyn. There's there's books, there's Barristan, there's Jorah, there's Tyrion. You know, there, there's other people that have these sorts of stories. Um, even if you're like, oh, but who's old enough to, to tell stories about like Blackfires and, and you know, Daron and, and things like that. And you're like, well... The Blackfish? I suppose... <clears throat> I mean, I suppose, but... You could, you, Tyrion knows history. He can just be like, well, I remember reading in a book this and this happened. You know, so it's, it's not that they're, they're like, I would say that after Kevin, Maester Aemon would probably be my second guess. But, um, cause, cause he's so old and he has so much knowledge related to Blackfires and secret Maester conspiracies or whatever. There's a lot of potential in him, but, um, I think it's all fixable. You know, um, Tanda Sno- Stokeworth, nah, did Rogue you, and Biter. <laughs> I think Rogue and Biter were done. Did you, um, did you, did you mention Craster yet? Because a lot of people were saying Craster, which, eh, eh, I don't know about that. <sighs> I mean, Craster dies in, in, in Storm, which is why I didn't mention him, but, um, I mean, there's some. It's not that there isn't some cool stuff with regards to Craster, but you can just have one of Gilly's sisters like know the knowledge, like and 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 tell the story secondhand of like what he has. Mm-hmm. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing that that Craster can can provide that like one of Gilly's sisters wouldn't know. You know, one of the older sisters. Hmm. Be like, well. I heard Craster once say this, or I know this and this and this. This is why he did things, you know. It's just it it would be that easy, um, you know. And in fact, um, that's why in the in the fan fiction I've brought back Craster's sisters, so they will be they're uh, they're pretty they're pretty they're pretty neat they're pretty neat. Um, Giles Rosby, nah. Not really, not really that important. What if like they George didn't want to deal with like the Rosby inheritance, like or something, you know? <laughs> like And then Ryman Frey, not that important. Million Freys, right? Okay. Thistle, Vermeer Sixskins. I mean Vermeer Sixskins is a great is a great character, but um I don't think there's anything that like he has that, that somebody else couldn't tell a story of. Stalwart Shield, Hosea, Janice Slint, I think a lot of people were, were joking about. Janice Slint, um, please. <laughs> so, you see how I, I've made a joke because people are like, oh, it's Janice Slint. And I don't, you know, because he has important, he has so many important friends in King's Landing. <laughs> <laughs> I made the joke that, like, the true ending. Of a song of ice and fire, as Bran becomes king and is immediately killed by the gold cloaks as a revenge from Janice for Janice Slint <laughs> against John. By the way, just completely <laughs> random. Your greatest joke will always be that um, uh, Podrick is secretly Kyburn's son, and that they've oh. together they've conspired to uh, to overthrow everybody and 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 see Kyburn as king. And Podrick comes out of nowhere and says, "Father." We've done it. That is, that is, I love that. I, I got to find where that, that one is, but that one's the greatest one ever. I love it would that be, it would be kind of, yeah. To ruin you all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, then we've got various uh, mutineers that were killed by cold hands. We don't really know which ones except for, I guess, um, a lot of these characters you're mentioning, they're they're just such like background care. I feel like their stories have like come yeah. and concluded. The only ones I can really think of 
like Kevin was the number one at the top of my head. Um, I sell, yeah, Maester Eamon. I, I, I will argue against Maester Eamon because I, I just feel like his story's done. And uh, I guess Eris Oakheart, <clears throat> but even then, like, what more did he have to do other than, like, trying to advance yeah. the Marcella plot? Yeah. So, um, okay, then we got Alistair Florent. No, he barely had a role. Kira, uh, that's that's Theon's, Theon's um, woman that he's fucking. That was killed by Ramsay. Rattleshirt, no. Um, uh, Mosador, that's another uh, unsullied. Um, uh, Durin, another. Uh, Ralph Kenning at um, Deepwood Moth. <laughs> Dagon Cod. Do you think it's possible uh, that? Uh, do you think it's possible that um, Wyman Manderley, on the, from his last attack while in Winterfell, he actually died from that, and, and maybe George's regretting that. But I don't think it's confirmed that he died. That he's just just that he's injured. Yeah, not confirmed. Re- reversible, right? Mm. Um. Yeah, Rolf, Rolf the Dwarf, uh, Quentin Greyjoy, um, Oppo, Jack Bulwer, Harry Hal, uh, Garth Greyfeather, the Gref- Greyfeather, um, the three Freys, Jared Simon and Rhaegar, who may be put into a pie, also reversible because we never see, we never see them die. Um, Harwood Fell, no Can, yellow dick. How about I give Walder you Frey. one character that, um, could possibly be very useful in the end. And we saw him at the very end of Game of Thrones, w- though he dies. Uh, Beric Dondarrion. Hmm. <clears throat> Beric Dondarrion, um, here's the funny thing. We don't know Bar- if Beric Dondarrion is dead or not. Well, he gave up his last um, life to res- resurrect Lady Stoneheart, so... <sighs> that's what that's what Thoro said, but... If you look at the of the appendix of a feast for crows, he still has a band of people that are following him. Hmm. And so the question is, is like, is somehow he not dead, or is Greenbeard or somebody else leading the other faction of the Brotherhood? But nonetheless, it's it's reversible, reversible again. You know, like because you could just say like, oh, I I, I got you know. I thought I passed my kiss of life and then I just stood up again and I was alive. Like, oh, really? <laughs> okay. Like, that's it. Like, that's it. Um, <clears throat> Lutton, Holly, uh, Barcella, black hair. She's a pit fighter that was ripped apart by a boar. Um, uh, <laughs> this is it. Urkaz Zo Unkaz. He died uh, during during the uh, Dasnax pit. Um, Torwind the Tame froze to death. Uh, Harmish, Hamish the Harper, Maester Kerwin. Here's a here's some actual Maester Kerwin. <sighs> I mean, I could see some use to Maester Kerwin. Um, this is the Maester that Victorian kills, right? But not enough. Not enough that I could that you'd could describe it as a corner. Um, nurse, that's the, the slave, slave master who was, uh, killed by Tyrion. Grolio. <laughs> what about Sir Patrick? Grolio. Who got fucked up by, uh. He, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, he's Not on the there. list. <clears throat> Grolio. Grolio's definitely dead. We see his head thrown in front of his tar. Stop it. Stop it. Um, we can reverse that's not that. Re- that's not reversible. No, we can't. Okay, <laughs> Grolio's dead. Bring Kyber in. We admit, can reverse it. I admit that Grolio would have some very important stories to tell about Illyrio and, and things like that and like what he is hired for and stuff. But it's not anything that we can't get from Strong Belwas. Okay. Because the three of them came together. Grolio, Strong, Belwas, and Barristan. And so if Grolio has some secret that he needed to tell, Strong, Belwas can, can talk about it. Um, Yezin. I don't think there's much that we need with Yezin. Krom, Kraz, Rowan, Squirrel, Willow, Witch Eye. Well, these are people, we, these are all reversible. The, the, the um, you know, Mance and the other... Um, Spearwise are all reversible because we don't see it. Frenya, Myrtle. Then Sir Patrick. 
also reversible because we never see it. Like it's an unrecognizable body. Could be anybody, but who cares? About it was pounded Patrick? to the point where he was unrecognizable. John's... I don't think that's reversible. <laughs> no, it's reversible in the sense that it might have not been him. Hmm. I'll take John it. Snow. Oh, of course. Um, who, have, you know, Quentin, Picel. I mean, Picel's cool and all, but I kind of feel like another maester can can uh, can do anything Picel's doing. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wanted Picel to be to stick around to the end. The oldest fucking character yeah. next to Maester Aemon. Kind of wanted him to stick around to the end, just because. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, I think that might be the role of Walter Frey. <laughs> you like, think so? He's just like, at the, yeah, the, the dude's never going to die. Like, everyone's expecting him to die. And there's these big succession disputes and everyone's talking about who gets what and who gets, you know, when, when with Walter and, and just like he never dies. And he's just ruling at the end. <laughs> I, you know, it does feel like everyone like keeps thinking about who's going to get the twins and it's going to be this really important issue. And it's just, it doesn't matter. Like while they're still alive, like with sweet Robin, everyone's expecting sweet Robin to die, but Harry, the air is probably going to, yeah. going to, going to go. Yeah. The only person that died that like everyone expected to die was, was Giles Rosby. <laughs> He's like on his deathbed, like hacking and coughing. And then he actually dies. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so Kevin and Raph, the sweetling, that's pretty much, it. Now on that list, like the only ones that really like I think are even conceivable are Kevin, Picel, Quentin, John, and um uh Eamon, You know? But I kind of say like jo- John and Quentin are completely reversible. So we're so we're kind of left with Eamon, Kevin, and Picel would be my would be my um if we're just going with people that died and, and feast and dance. 